Well, hi, everyone, and greetings from Northern Michigan. You know, it seems strange that less than a year ago, I made my first video on the dining room table about why airplanes didn't have to dip their nose as they flew across the earth. The first videos were very crude. I actually had to look up on YouTube how to make them using iMovie. Now, that continued for a little while, and then I actually found an old room in the back of my office, and I made myself a little studio. I put up some insulation and hung some cloth to make green and blue screens. I used chicken warmer lights for lighting. And it was very cramped, it was hot, but we put out some really good videos there. Now, in the last couple of weeks, I haven't put out an awful lot of videos, simply because I've been working on a new studio at my house. My daughter moved out, my son took that room over as a party room, then my second daughter moved out, he moved into her room because it was bigger, now I have my own space. So I decided to make it mine, and I wanted to make a studio so that I could improve the quality and the lighting of the videos that I was putting out on my YouTube channel. So join me and I'll show you what we did. Well, we've got quite a thunderstorm going right now, so I'm gonna try and get this video done between the booms. Shout out Jose J.G. Gonzalez. Well, when we first come in, we have the editing station. The monitor has a second screen and an iPad. Now we head into the area where the main studio lights are. This is also my window, and we've got soundproofing on all the walls. This stuff is about a dollar a sheet and goes up with a spray adhesive. Very easy to do. I use this cabinet for my video, my sound, and my miscellaneous electronics. I'll probably put my books up here too. Now we're getting to the business end of the studio. This is the production station. I've got a condenser mic and a soundboard. I've got my computer and I've got a Blue Yeti on the side. There's the Blue Yeti and as you can see the case for my Lavelle mic there too. Now looking back at the production studio, you can see the studio lights. I've got that 27 inch Apple up there. An iPad is hooked into that as a second screen, and I also have a television set mounted to the wall that I can use as a second monitor. And then we'll just make a quick turn back to the recording area. There's my Freedom case. Um, much more room than the last one. I've got a window and a fan. I'm cooking with gas. Now for those of you looking to start studios in your own house, let me go ahead and give you some of the items that I used for mine. Uh, this is uh, the chroma key screen. It comes in green and blue. It's $39. I picked this mixer board up for about $100 at a local music store. It's got four inputs. It has an equalizer and it also has phantom power for my condenser mic. And as you can tell, it does a pretty good job with it. And it's very simple to use. Now the entire time that I've had my channel, I've used an old iPhone 6 for my camera. I've never really had a real web camera. Well, I changed that with the studio here, getting a Logitech 922. I think this is a lot better, and we don't have those autofocus boxes popping up constantly. And as they say, the devil's in the details. I do a lot of traveling, which normally kept me down from uh, doing any videos or anything. I needed a more portable solution. The other thing is I wanted to make sure that the light was really good. This particular stand handles the C922 camera very nicely, and it also has an integrated LED light, which has several different settings and various intensities. This is a really nice feature for just doing the lighting right on the face, whereas I've got the big lights coming in and hitting the green screen and just lighting on the, on the side. I do have one on the side as well to take out the shadows under my jaw. Well guys, this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you very much for your patience while I got this studio together. I think it's gonna make a huge difference in the channel and I'm looking forward to kicking some flurf butt. We'll see you again soon.